As the hunting season of 2023 started to come to a close, I still had one tag left in my pocket for a late season archery deer hunt. I'd never hunted this area before, but with some help from buddies who showed me some places to check out, I was excited to see what we could find and hopefully arrow a nice mule deer buck during the rut. Well, day one out here, this is the uh, uh, late season archery deer hunt and we got up on the glassing up early this morning, um, just before before light, started glassing. I actually found a couple nice, really nice deer and uh, a couple groups of, of does, but they're way up at the top of the mountain. They're rutting really hard right now, so they're all chasing the does around, so might be hard to kill one of them, but they're here, and that's better than we've seen this season for a little while, so. Also saw a couple moose, a really nice moose, that was cool. Um, but what the plan is, is gonna go back down to the car right now and make a game plan, see if we can get any closer on these deer. I didn't see any deer down lower. The only deer we saw were way up at like 9,000 feet, so it's gonna be tough to get up there, but it's gonna be worth it if we can get in on some deer. And, Maybe we can get a shot off at one today or tomorrow, so it's just gonna be a matter of trying to get as close as we can, but. Pretty good morning, there's lots of cars driving around down low, so I think the deer are just really high. What do you think? It's good morning. Good morning. Chilly. You cold? Yeah, my toesies are cold, but it's good, it's good. Logan saw some deer. They were too far away, I couldn't see them. <laughs> because I don't know what I'm looking for. But it was a good morning, apparently, so. Been pushing forward. All right, we made it to the top to our glassing knob. Um, took quite a while, but it was steep and kind of was pretty long. So we made it though. Finally, uh, it's about 1:30, and where we saw the deer this morning, it's still at like at least another thousand feet higher. So it's a long ways up. But I think the game plan is to just sit here for this evening because there's still a lot of good area to glass that's closer to us that we couldn't see this morning so I think we're gonna hang out here and see if anything comes out closer maybe those deer will come out a little earlier and I'll have time to run up there so we'll just kind of see how the, the day goes but I uh, e-scouted this area a ton on Onyx and I pinpointed just a bunch of areas that I thought looked good some glassing points so the one this morning was just kind of like a big general glassing point like you're not gonna have time to go kill anything from that point but we were able to find deer even though they were a long ways away it worked out good so um, now we're just up here on this other spot closer to where we see the deer hopefully we can pick something out tonight and maybe we get a shot off of something so we'll just see how it goes almost the, the very top where I want to be and I've already bumped two groups of deer on accident one of them had a nice buck in it a shooter buck at four, a good four point so there's definitely deer up here tons of sign everywhere I'm probably about 200 yards away from where I want to be so I'm gonna get up here to the top glass for a little while Hopefully find some deer and make a play. Good wind, the wind's going pretty steady like uphill. So we're 
just gonna see what we can find. Just found a really nice buck. He's just cruising. I don't know if I'll be able to get to him in time, but I'm gonna try and see if I can. We'll see what happens. I saw that really nice buck and he was kind of cruising around but he was hanging out so I decided to try to kind of sneak in on him and I got in to about 100 yards from where I last saw him and a second buck, a little tiny 3x4 came out and he was kind of like messing with him, chasing him and uh, so I kept, I kind of lost sight as I dipped down to come up over the next hill. And by the time I got over there, the little three by four, he was still there. But that big, the big three by four, I could see he walked down the hill like another 150 yards from where I was at. So, so I wasn't able to get any closer. And he was just cruising. He was just looking for does. So there was no way I was gonna find him again tonight. But, I almost had a chance at that little 3x4. He was at like 60 yards just staring at me. And I knocked an arrow. I thought, well, if I can walk like 20 yards closer, 45, 40 yards, like I'll take a shot at him. Because I was like, at this point in the season, man, I'll just take a deer. But. So I knocked an arrow, started kind of walking closer towards him, and he he took off after I got to about like 50 yards. But it was just kind of fun to see him. And then saw just a ton of does tonight. But I learned that not much, so just heading that back down. I have about like literally 3,000 feet of vert to drop down here to back to the car. So it's a long ways. Um but this is where the deer are, so you gotta hunt where the deer are at. Gonna just keep hiking down and get back after it in the morning. I don't know if I'm gonna come back up to here or not, just cause it's such a, it is such a long ways to get to. Um, but we'll see, we're just gonna keep trying our best, see what we can pull out, so. Well, we, up early this morning and we're just hiking back up to where we saw those deer yesterday. Um, we're about halfway up, so yeah, I'm just dying on an incline. <laughs> but plan is to get one today. We'll see. Um, we're gonna go up to where we were yesterday and we're gonna watch and hopefully we'll see something if all goes according to plan, which it never does. But hopefully we'll see Buck bed down and Logan can go over and get her done. <laughs> Morning of um, day two of our hunt. And this is our last day we could hunt this weekend. But if we don't get it done today, I have two more weekends I can come out. So not super pressed for time, but I'd like to get it done sooner than later. But i um, been glassing for a couple hours already and there's been bucks kind of cruising back and forth all over and um, nothing like super big yet i haven't seen that big buck i saw yesterday yet there's a group of does um that's probably about a thousand yards away but we can drop down to this other knob that's a little closer and kind of sits back a little further so we can see into the trees better so we're going to drop down and get closer on this knob and see if anything comes in there's there's three bucks in that group already there's two small two points and then a, a small four point but the, the four point he's big enough I, i'd probably i'd definitely shoot him so we're gonna move down here get closer and maybe we'll find a deer in a spot we can get him so see how it goes all right we got up here i've been glassing for a while it's about noon right now and uh we found that group of deer again and that buck was there. 
He is a good four point with two cheaters, inline cheaters. And uh, he started like walking up and then he passed another buck that was a four point with a small cheater, but he was a bigger four point. But they all just kind of meandered around and then the, the, the smaller four point he, like walked up the hill and over the hill. So and I kind of lost all the deer, but they're all just bedded down right now. But I'm gonna head up top above all these trees that these deer are in, get the wind right, and then just glass in until I find some deer or maybe slow slow walk through some of this stuff. There's a ton of bucks in here, it's just a matter of finding them because it's so thick. But I think we'll be able to find some deer tonight for sure. And hopefully get close enough and get it done. So we'll see how it goes. I uh, made it up to the top. And as soon as I got to the glassing knob here, some does busted out, but it, it was some hikers hiking along a trail underneath me. But I didn't see any bucks with them. But all the bucks I saw this morning are quite a ways lower, so I think that the hikers wouldn't have scared anything down there. So, pretty much what I'm gonna do, the plan is, to hike down and be real slow and sneaky and just keep glassing as I go. And then hopefully find a buck. Maybe something in a good spot to put a stock on. We'll see. I'm not sure like really where any deer are specifically, so it's kind of shot in the dark, but I think it's the best play we got right now. It's the last afternoon. It's about 1.30, 2, two o'clock, so got about three hours of light left. So I'm just gonna creep down here and hopefully get on something. So we'll see how it goes. Snow. It's snowing. All right, well, it is, day is pretty much over. It's past shooting light right now, so it's too dark. Um, and I'm heading back now to the glassing knob where Ellie's at, and gonna head down the mountain, but we gotta head home tonight. It's dumping, starting to dump some snow right now, so next time I come up here in a couple weeks, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of snow up here. Um, but. Not a bad evening. I mean, I saw a couple. I saw one buck. It was at three by four that I had at 60 yards, but he was way far, just cruising. So other than that, just didn't really see anything. Um, bummer. But heading back down, and we'll get back after it next uh, next weekend. So we'll see you then. All right. So. Woke up this morning to an absolute blizzard snowstorm. Got like literally six inches of snow overnight while I was sleeping. There's no snow on the forecast until Sunday and it's Friday today, which is crazy. So um, I pulled the weather forecast. Today, it is a 100% chance of snow until noon and then it says no snow until 6 p.m. tonight and it's 100% chance all the way through tomorrow night. <laughs> so, <laughs> looks like we're gonna get dumped on with snow here. Um, the, when I was heading, I, I decided, I was like, well, I'm just gonna go like, see what the trail looks like. I started driving up the trail and I was like literally sliding off the road trying to get to the trail. So, I turned around because there was only, there was one spot on the road heading down that I was a little skeptical about. So I threw the tire chains on, made it past there. Um, it was kind of sketchy, but it was just a hill that was slanted, I didn't want to slide off it. But I'm past that, and it, it wasn't that much farther, it was maybe a half a mile down from where I, I camped. So I'm just hanging out here till it gets light. I'm not gonna hike all the way up today because I actually found a ton, there's a, like a ton of deer tracks crossing the road from tonight as I was driving. I've, I've only maybe drove a mile, if that, and I saw like, four or five groups of deer tracks. So I'm gonna hang out here till it gets light. If it clears up a bit, 
hike up in glass. If it doesn't clear up, I might do some walking around and just try to like find something. Um, gonna make the best of it, you know. It's it sucks. I was hoping that it wasn't gonna snow till Sunday so that I could hike up way high and find some bucks high. But there's I think there's gonna be deer down here. There's I mean I saw lots of tracks. Um, there's a ton of snow now. It probably dumped a foot up high and it's still snowing. So I think that we'll find some deer. It's just gonna be a matter of letting the snow let up and just grinding. See how it goes. Well, it's dumping snow this morning still. Been out here for about an hour, maybe hour and a half, just walking up this hill and saw one doe. But that was it. Pretty windy and snowy, so I don't know if the deer are gonna be really out much right now. But it looked like in the weather it might clear up later today. So I'm hoping that it clears up. We can find some deer. It probably snowed about eight inches last night, so quite a lot. I'm kinda stoked to be hunting in the snow, it's kinda fun, so we'll just see how the rest of the day goes. It is about 11.30 right now, and the clouds are finally clearing up. It stopped snowing. The sun kind of tried to come out for a sec. It's kind of just like off and on, cloudy coming in and out, but some deer are out moving. Uh, I've seen three bucks so far and a few does, uh, but no like giant bucks. There's a like a three by two or something, maybe broken off. Up the hill up here, he's the closest buck to me. Um, I think he would be a shooter. And honestly, he's not in a terrible spot to try to get on. Um, we'll see, I'm not really sure yet. but Probably going to keep glassing for a couple hours and just see what else we see. It's still pretty early in the day. We still, well, we still have like five hours left of, of day, so... Um, just keep an eye on some of these deer and hopefully find something good. So we'll just see how it goes. It's 12 o'clock right now and I have a game plan. I found a couple bucks up on the hill. Uh, one of them's by himself. And he's a 3 by I think he used to be a 3 by 3 but he's broken off his front side on his left side. So he's like a, a 3 by 2 now. Um... He's kind of up in that like fog line where it keeps getting foggy and, and not foggy. So I've just gotten glimpses of him. But um, he's not terribly far. So I think I'm just going to run up there and see what I can see. If if all else fails, it's a good glassing spot to see across the other side of the canyon from where he's at. So with how this morning's been with all this snow, I'm not opposed to just throwing a stock on a buck. I'm, he's not a huge buck, but I'm totally would be happy with him so especially with the last weekend and with this weather rolling in so we'll see this weather's awesome but I've also seen a couple groups of does but I have yet to see a group of does with a buck so it leads me to believe they they might be kind of the rut might be kind of wearing down a little bit which is not terrible that because it means the bucks are going to be more by themselves but it also means the bucks are going to be harder to find, so. I'm going to throw this stock on this deer for the next couple hours and just see what plays out. Maybe the weather will let up a little more. It's kind of, the sun is trying to come out a little bit, so that's awesome, but we'll see. It looked like on the weather forecast that it's going to snow again tonight, so that's why I'm thinking just make the most of our time right now and try to go kill a deer. up to 
stalk this buck. I'm about halfway up to him. Probably got about 600 yards or so to, to go until I get there. Glassed up some other deer at way up on the hill, like way high. They're in like belly deep snow. One decent buck. But uh, they're like way too high to get to today, so I'm just gonna keep working on this buck. Hopefully, hopefully get him. I'd be stoked, so we'll see how it goes. again so probably gonna head towards the car I just hunt my way back to the car and just keep an eye out I've seen a lot of deer up on the hill just way high I think it's just a matter of time till the deer start coming down lower especially with this being the first big snowstorm and then it's probably gonna snow tonight I think those deer are gonna start coming down so that's good but we'll see how it goes just gonna keep hunting for the rest of the evening. Only got about two or three hours of light left, probably two hours of light. And then, we'll see what happens in the morning too. All right, it is morning of day two of this weekend and uh, got up to a good glassing spot and been glassing all morning. And I turned up two bucks, but they were moving quick and they're in some thick stuff now. And they're just not in a great spot to find them again and then I've only seen a couple other does so as I was sitting here just glassing and contemplating what to do there's a couple spots that I had e-scouted that I haven't checked out yet so I think um, for a few hours today I'm gonna run down and check some of those spots drive around see kind of what some other country looks like because in this unit, this is actually the only canyon that I've hunted here. And there's a lot of deer here, but I think there's other places to go. So, gonna go check out some more area. Freezing cold this morning, snowed all night, super windy. So, it's definitely some good conditions for deer, but um, I just haven't seen a ton moving today. So, see if we can find later today. Gonna go drive around for a bit and hopefully turn some deer up. Well, I was just heading down the hill and uh, it didn't snow much last night but it was super windy and drifted and uh, there was one spot on the road that was really drifted over like I just opened my door and the snow is up to my door so it's gonna have to dig myself out so we'll just uh, have to see how this goes it's gonna be fun There's the road, there's my car, there's a lot of snow. So I'm going to use these to dig myself out because I didn't bring a shovel.
Well, it got unstuck. I had to dig myself out. And I didn't get it filmed. I was going to, but an uh, awesome dude just came. He was coming up the road as I was getting myself undug. And uh, he helped me get unstuck, pulled me out. He has an awesome big rig, so it was worked out perfect. But now I'm just going to head down and find some areas. I don't know if I'm going to be back up in here just because of the, the snow levels, but also the deer just aren't really cooperating. So we'll see how it goes getting back down here. Because this, the most of the problem is that the roads have drifted over, so it's really deep on the road but there's not a ton of snow on some of the open hills just because of the way the wind was blowing last night. So, I'm gonna drive out of here and see what we can find. So, afternoon of day two, and this is crazy to say, but like honestly, this has been a grind of a hunt just because it's so freaking cold there's so much snow, I can hardly like drive anywhere in my car or else I get stuck. Um, so I went down to town, gassed up, got a snack, um, and like honestly debated going home, but I was like, no. I got two and a half more days to hunt. There's no way. So I just gotta keep grinding. This is this is a tough hunt and it's hard to even find deer out here. It's so dang cold and windy, but I think it's possible. So pull up to a new spot. I'm going to hike up the hill about a mile, mile or two um, to a glassing area and just see what I can find up there. Um, I've never been over here, so it's just kind of a new spot for me, but I'm sure there's deer. It's just going to be a matter of getting on them and finding them, but I'm not giving up right now because spent too much time hunting this year haven't killed anything yet this is kind of my my last chance so I'm gonna give it all I got and hopefully find something and just leave it all in the mountain because that's all I can really do right now it's tough hunting there's not a lot of deer it's cold but I know it's possible to find a deer and to kill it it's just gonna take the right circumstances to line up and maybe it doesn't happen this hunt but maybe it does and if it does, it'd be one of the most epic things ever. So we're just gonna keep grinding, keep working hard and see what you can find. It is dumping snow again and just blizzarding outside. So I've kind of decided for right now that um, I'm just gonna head down the mountain so I don't get stuck up here, of course. Weather's supposed to get a little bit better tomorrow, but then it might be a little stormy again tomorrow night um, and then Monday I'm not sure what's gonna happen Monday so um, just gonna stick with it and see how it goes hopefully turn something up here soon because um, today was not a super productive day but it's not a big deal because still have two more days left so we'll see how it goes all right it is morning of day three of this hunt and this morning I pretty socked in but I spotted a group of deer probably 20 30 deer in a field and they're on private but I think they're gonna work their way into public so I'm parked right now in public I'm gonna kind of walk to where I think they're gonna work their way to and maybe they'll work their way over to me that'd be awesome but we'll see I don't really know exactly where they're gonna go so I'm just gonna see uh kind of like keep my distance and watch them and see where they're coming from and try to make a play the snow right now is pretty wet so it's super loud and like mushy which really sucks but um if i can get in a spot and they can just feed past me that'd be awesome so we'll see how it goes the buck's about two or three hundred yards away right now and i'm right on the private line so he's, he's quite a ways into the private I'm just gonna keep watching him. There's a lot of deer tracks in the, the trees over here, so that's a good sign. The deer have definitely been hanging out in this area. So I'm just gonna keep an eye out, see where these deer go today. Maybe we can make something happen tonight or tomorrow, or maybe, maybe this morning if they feed in here and I can get in a good spot, but we'll see.
All right. I watched that buck bed down out in the middle of the open field um, off the private. He's about 200, two to 300 yards off of the public line. So I'm just gonna go and get in a good spot to glass and watch until he gets back up. He's with a bunch of does too and another couple bucks. Which one of the other bucks I'd shoot too. He's a cool, he's a four by two, but on his two side, he has a drop tine. So kind of cool. Gonna find a good spot. Watch him for a while, see what happens. Hopefully at some point today, can maybe make a play if he moves closer to the public line. So we'll see. Okay, well, it is like dumping rain. It's like actually raining now, but I found a buck. And I think it's a different buck, but it's a nice four point. He's kind of working along the edge of a field. So I'm gonna hurry as fast as I can and try to get over, try to get over to him and maybe get a chance at him. We'll see. We'll see if I can get over there fast enough. All right, spotted these deer again. Just gonna watch them till dark and see if they come close enough to get a shot. They're out in the open right now, not in a stockable spot. Watch these bucks all evening and they bedded down along the edge of the field but they're still in but they're still in a very private part of the field so bit of a bummer but those do all the does fed off the opposite direction and those bucks just stayed there and bedded down so I'm gonna be right back here in the morning hoping those bucks feed out and feed into a uh, feed into the public land. Hopefully get close enough tomorrow. All right, this is the last morning, last day that I have here to make it happen this year. So, gonna give it all we got. I know where those bucks were last night, so I'm gonna go and sit on that field and see if they come out again and see if they can work into a spot where I can get on them. It's, it's gonna be a long shot, but it's about the only shot I got right now. All right, so, um, I didn't find the big buck this morning when I was out walking around, so I came back to my car, drove out to the road, and I spotted him again. Um, he's in a spot I wouldn't have been able to see him where I was at this morning earlier, but I found him. He's with a group of does. I know right where he's at, so I'm going to go hike back in and sit in the best spot I can think of to where he may come later today, and just going to hang out there. I actually found, I know where they're at now, so I should be able to find and be able to see them. They kind of moved into a different spot where I should be able to see them, so that's good. Hopefully I can get in there and find them and maybe make a play on them. Um, where they're at right now, they're kind of right on the edge of the, the private, so they were on the public when I saw them earlier this morning from my car, and then they moved back onto the private, so... They're kind of right on that edge, um, so I'll just sit in the public a little ways and see if they come over and give me a chance, but it's about the only option I got for today because um, it's late morning right now, and um, it's not really worth going anywhere else to try to find any other deer, so this is what I got. I'm just going to work with what I got and try to get it done. I watched for that buck for the rest of the night with no success in finding him. Even though the hunt didn't end as anticipated, I still felt a sense of pride knowing I pushed through the hard times, even when harvesting a deer didn't even seem possible. These are the type of hunts I look back on and realize how much I really learned and grew, even though it's one of the hardest hunts I've ever done. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. I love putting together these videos. Even though some don't end in harvesting an animal, to me, they're still a success. Keep an eye on the channel for some more content coming. I've got a spring bear hunt coming up and some more videos from last year that I'm excited to share.